I actually don't know. <gasps> Are you ready? All right, so I chucked the Ellie in for 350-something mil last night so that I could... Well, I wasn't using it anyway, and it's crashing so hard, I figured I'd just grab the money and see what I can make of it. But instead of staking what I... I was going to stake it all. Instead of doing that, I guess I'll buy some stuff I need and then stake what I have left. So I'm going to get rigor, first of all. All right. Read. Yes, learn rigor. There we go. Now my account sucks a little bit less. I did, all right, and I got the arcane for 140 mil even. All right, so now my tab is, I've pretty much got everything I need. The arcane, uh, the Ellie's gone, obviously, but I wasn't using it anyway. So, yeah. All right, Master Casket. Oh yeah, I gotta, I gotta say, I gotta say a word for good luck, ready? Testicles. All right, cool. What do we got? Well, that's just, that's boring. Fuck. Hey, 7,500 kill count. Guess who still doesn't have the pet? It's me. Alright. 8,000 mole kill coming up. And I want to die. Alright, Master Clue Loot number 40-something. Yeah, that's very standard and boring. I don't think you can wear it if it runs out of charges. Oh, no, no, that's the one thing you can still use, right? I actually don't know. <gasps> I got... <laughs> oh my god, I got it! <laughs> oh my god, I got it before 9k. Oh my god, fuck yeah! Alright. Kill count, 89.66. I finally got the fucking mole pet. I can stop living underneath Falador now. Let's ensure this guy. Yes, please. And I now have 12 pets. Alright, and the world's fastest master clue... ...yields... <laughs> ...some stuff. Alright, I just finished up an entire... ...Dagonos task at the DKs. Let's price check what I made. Let's see that, 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 these... ...logs, and bones. Two point, that's kind of a coincidence, 2.147, that's like, never mind. I'm a nerd. Those of you who get it will get it. 2.1 mil made from Dagonos with the only signature drop being a Dragon Axe. That's not too bad, I guess. The bones are wonderful. And new task, well, that's quick points, I guess. All right, quickly got that task out of the way for some points. And Abbey Spectres. I actually might do that. All right, so I know that this series is supposed to be largely pet hunting, and I still plan for it to be. I'm not going to bore you with, like, tons of clips that are not pet hunting or not something that serves pet hunting as a, a larger goal, but I do want to say that um, sometimes I might have, like, a sub-goal in mind, and for the time being, I think what I want to do is also work towards getting the other two Slayer Helms. Of course, I have the, the Abbey Demon Slayer Helm, but I also have KBD heads and KQ heads ready to go. It's just a matter of getting the points. I currently only have 100 Slayer points, as you can see in my chat box. That's not enough. Um, so basically, I think the reason I'm going to be doing the Abbey Spectres is because I want to grind Slayer for real for the first time in a long time because I want to get all three Slayer Helms for like a completionist thing. And um, I really enjoy Slayer. It'll also allow me to do a lot of bossing because I'm going to do every single Slayer boss test that comes up that I don't have the pet for already. Excuse me. And in addition to that... I can do tasks in the catacombs, I can get charges for my arc light for Zami, and I can also get totems, which will allow me to complete another kind of sub-goal of mine, which is, uh, I don't buy any of the jars, all the jars in my house, I got myself, and it'd be really cool to get the Jar of Darkness from Skatizo at some point, so. Anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much the size of it, I'm going to be doing Slayer a lot, I think, because I ultimately need 2,000 Slayer points to help me uh, make the other Slayer Helms, and we'll do a lot of bossing along the way, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next clip. Hey, look, my first uh, superior encounter of this whole Slayer Helm recolor, Slayer Helm grind. Repugnant Spectre, they did a recent update graphically to a lot of the superior encounters, and now they look fucking amazing. Look at this guy. He looks, like, legitimately intimidating now. All right, imbued heart incoming.
That's all I got? The fuck, it's just like a regular drop. Fuck is that shit? Round two, boys. Alright, what are we gonna get from the second encounter? It's better than last time, I guess. Also, apparently I have like a full totem in pieces in my bank, because I haven't been getting any totem pieces from these guys, and apparently it's a 100% drop chance. So I'm pretty sure I need to go and combine those pieces after I'm done with this trip. Alright, it's time for my 200th task in a row. We're using Duradel, and we have 143 Black Demons. I guess I'll go cannon those. Alright, finish the Black Demons task. Got a very nice point boost. We got 340 points. We're about a third of the way to the next Slayer Helm recolor. And Steve, be nice. Oh, fuck yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. More DKs. That full prayer book. Br oh my god, I fucked up the clip, you guys. That full prayer book is a beautiful sight. Cost me 47 mil to buy Augury, and now I am down to 145 mil cash, so not too bad. Alright, so I just finished my DK's task, and I actually got lucky with a couple drops this time. So let's see what I made. 8.2 mil from one uh, DK's task. Ah, uh, that's very good. And let's see what we can get for another task. Please be DK's again, or Dagonos again. Dark Beasts, alright, good points. Alright, new task. Greater Demons, alrighty then. Master Casket. I think this is number 46 or something, and we have... Well, I was right about the Dragon Battle Axes. Yeah, it's worth a fair amount, but it's boring. Alright, so I didn't do a follow-up check-in after doing uh, Zami. As you can see, I have 51 kills left in my Greater Demons task. We did all the rest of them, I think. 153 kills worth to the task um, in one trip at Zami. Uh, a buddy of mine named Alex tanked for me. He did a really good good job right up until the end when he got comboed. But the trip was like two and a half hours at that point anyway, so it was fine. I gave him a 60% split, so I think he walked away with 2.5 mil and I got 1.8-ish. So uh, the only thing we really got that was noteworthy was a hilt. Um, but I did make some good progress on my task. And I think I'm going to go and finish up the rest of it in the catacombs now because I I've been saying this... Every time I get Zami or I get Gritters as a task, I'm very low on charges. And now, like, literally, that's not enough for one more trip like I had earlier. So I need to get some uh, some shards in the catacombs. So wish me luck. Hey, I got an ancient shard. I think I got one from Skatiza because I'm unlucky. So I just need one more and I can charge up my arc light. Of course, this is the last kill here of the trip, or of the task, rather. All right, my recording fucked up, but I just got uh, Dust Devils as a task, 144. I think I'm going to go barrage them in the catacombs for some easy points and hopefully another shard. Hey, I just went and caught a ninja impling right outside. One ninja impling and got the hard clue. Nice. All right, finished barraging Dust Devils. Got nothing good except for a Dark Totem base. Ten skeletal wyverns. That'll be very fast points. All right, time to get some uh, new things to kill. Blood build. All right, good points. Can't really skip that. All right, well, unfortunately, it's time for me to do some fucking winter tot. Uh, as you may remember, I broke 20 million fire making XP uh, a little while back, and since then I haven't come back here because I don't like it, but I was kind of tired of doing the agility pyramid, which is what I was doing during this week's podcast. And uh, now that I've got the mole pet, I can go back to like doing chill uh, pet hunting off stream. And uh, I think I'm just going to do this one for a little while, whether that means like every night for quite a while or just for half an hour until I decide that I want to get the fuck out of here. I guess we won't know until I try. Well, we got 38 kills left on task, and I've gotten two archers rings and a sears, and the archers were actually back to back from uh, two rotations. Maybe I can get some, uh, some other rings and complete Lord of the Rings for the first time ever. But uh, Rex is going to have to stop being a bitch first. Alright, let's see how much I made from this DK's... Oh, shit. Alright, let's see how much I made from this DK's task. Okay. Oh, and I also got the Tooth Half and a Rune Two-Handed Sword. Oh, and a DX, right. Yo. Stop. No, I don't want to buy. That was a misclick. Wow, DXs are really cheap. 8.3 mil almost from one DK's trip. It's almost exactly what I made from the last one because 
Last trip and this trip I had two archers and a Sears. It's really weird. Alright, let's see if we can get lucky on the uh, Max Cape proccing, or the Slayer perk proccing, and get that again. <laughs> my god. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I am just, I am too lucky right now. Alright, let's see how much I made from this trip at DK's. It was actually more kills than my other tasks, but uh, didn't get as many good drops. I got a shield left half and a dragon stone, which is bullshit. Bones and ring. 2.4 mil, still not bad. Bones coming in clutch, as usual. Holy shit, I got Dagonos offered to me again. I had Dagonos, my cape procced, and I just did those in my cape procced again. This is the third Dagonos task in a row. Holy shit. This is where all my RNG was. It's, it's just been waiting for me to get the mole pet and open the fucking floodgates. Fuck yeah, dude. All right. The uh, most recent Dagonos trip was very good to me. Let's see how much we made from it. Ten point eight mil in one DK's task, and it was actually the uh, the smallest task I had so far. Only one hundred and thirty one kills. God damn. All right, here we go. This is uh, Master Casket number forty seven, I think. Fuck off. Alright, let's get a new task from Duradel since it's gonna be 210. And we have Clink King Black Dragon. Uh, fuck yeah. 35. Alright. Man, my, my streak of good tasks continues. Okay, finished the KBD task. Now I have 550 points, so we're over halfway to getting my next Slay Helm Recolor. And we have 133 Necreal. Oh boy. Okay, new task. Here we go. Trolls, all right. Cannon, some uh, some ice trolls, I think. All right, trolls task was nice and quick, and we have blue dragons. Oh, I'm going to kill the baby blue dragons for points, I guess. All right, that didn't take too long. New assignment, neck reel again. Back to barraging, I guess. All right, let's get a new slayer task again. Hopefully a boss task this time. Uh, it's not a boss task, but it's better than neck reel. Finally done with Abbey Demons, and the new task is... Oh, no. <laughs> Abbey Demons takes so long, but I can't ever skip Abbey Demons. I'm going to have to go with yes on that. That is one of the most beautiful sights in Old School RuneScape. There's an Abyssal Whip on the ground. And exactly what I was hoping for with this next task. Alright, here we go. New task. Jesus Christ, what is going on? Yeah, another whip. All right, let's see what happens. All right, Abbey Spectres, that's something different. I haven't had a boss task in ages, though. All right, just finished Eber Spectres up. Have 670 points now. And we have Enku, nice and easy. Well, it's not a boss task, but 10 Dark Beasts will take, like, no time at all. Okay, Dark Beast is done, and we have... Cave Horrors, uh, Cannonable, and it has a cool new superior, so I guess I'll do that. Dude, he looks fucking awesome. And he's wearing the, uh, the black mask on a, like a necklace thing. Okay, boss task, please. It's been ages. Hey, Black Dragons, not getting KBD. Alright, and the new task is... Hey, Abbey Demons, those are always good. Alrighty, new task is... Necreal, well, I can barrage those. All right, bo boss task, maybe? Do I want to repeat Necreal? No, I don't. Blood Veld's fuck off, dude. I can't win. Can't win. I can't get a boss task. Never mind. No more pet hunting. All right, don't worry. That was a joke. Yes, more pet hunting. Uh, but more pet hunting to come in the next episode. I am going to go ahead and wrap things up here because I feel like 15-ish uh, minutes is a pretty decent... Stopping point. Uh, before we wrap things up, I do want to check in on boss kill counters because for the first time uh, since a while ago, I have been killing a variety of bosses instead of just camping the mole for a month straight. So just wanted to check out the old boss log and update because I have not uh, checked in. Because well, the, only, the only thing that really changed last episode was the mole kill count, which is staying at 8966, I think, forever probably because that's where I got the pet. DKs have all gone up quite a bit. 
almost 600 Rex, over 600 Prime, and 500 Supreme. The reason that's lower than the other ones is because I went there with um, a friend of mine, uh, one of my Iron Man friends. He needed an Archer's Ring, so I let him take Supreme, and I took the other two. Uh, Krill, almost at three quarters of a thousand now. Um, didn't do any KQ this, tr- uh, this episode. KBD is almost 300 kills now. And I believe that's all I did. Yeah, because the rest of these are like, Slayer stuff. Yeah, so it's actually been really, really fun uh, doing stuff that isn't the mole. I, I didn't really realize it at the time, but it was actually like seriously wearing me down that I hadn't gotten it and that I was almost three times the drop rate. I was just a lot saltier on stream than I want to be, and I, d- I didn't really realize it until after I got the, the mole pad, but it, it was like a weight off my shoulders, and I've been enjoying everything so much more. Doing Slayer again, doing do the Dagonoth King solos. Those are like the most fun I've had in a long time. But yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And um, uh, be sure to check out my streams at some point. I'll put the link in the description. And yeah, I will see you in the next one, everybody. Goodbye.